Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge and welcome to Brewer, which is, if you haven't already worked it out by the name and the visuals in front of you, a game all about making your own beer, which is very good indeed. I do like a beer, I like a nice beer every now and then, you know, I mean I have more tea than beer, but I do enjoy a lovely beer, and this game is all about making your own beer in a little town, and you have a pub and you transport the stuff over to the pub, you get to choose what beer you want to make, you unlock new recipes, you run your pub to make sure that it's profitable and doesn't get shut down, and then you kind of spread into other areas and you try and take down the opposition and all that kind of stuff. It's very, very interesting. I've gone through some of the tutorial. It's a very sort of, it's a fun little sort of game that actually does require a little bit of planning, as we will see when we actually dive in. It's on Steam as of the now, if you want to go and have a look. As always, there is a link to the Steam store page in the video description below, and I got given a key to this by the developers which is very kind so thank you developer folks that's very lovely of you so i think what we'll do is we'll just dive straight in start doing a game of brewer and get making some beer so somewhat unimaginatively we're going to call our little brewery the tgc brewery because that makes sense and difficulty level we shall play on normal i think we'll cope Easy just gives you a chance to brew higher quality beer. I think everything else is the same. Your beer quality is just possibly a little bit higher, but that's absolutely fine. So let's start the game then. And here we go. So welcome to Novo Primorsk. I think the game is set in Russia. I think the development team or the developer is in Russia. So that's why we're over in a place called Novo Primorsk. It sounds sort of Russian to me anyway. Um, it's a cozy city located by the ocean. It sounds lovely. Novo Primorsk is well known for its beer brewing traditions. Many locals love and respect the frothy beverage. It's been your greatest dream to open a small brewery here for a long time. That dream has finally come true. Oh, happy days. Perhaps there will be a time when you'll be lying in a hammock on the shore of Novoprimorsk Gulf, a glass of your very own home brewing beer in your hand, and reminiscing of this special day. The day when you first set foot on the path to the Beer Brewing Summit. Oh, it's very dramatic. Brewing is not an easy craft, but are there really any hardships that are truly capable of stopping those who love their trade from the bottom of their heart? I don't think there are. There's plenty of work ahead of you. Good luck, brewer. Thank you very much. I suspect we're going to need it. So we'll turn the tutorial off. It's a little bit handholdy, and I have done some of the tutorials, so I think we'll be okay. We'll muddle through. I'll probably forget some very important things but we'll muddle through so no thank you and our first objective is to, is to open a new pub in Big Mugs. So Big Mugs is a little area. It's a, it's a very well-named sort of thing. So yes, Big Mugs. And if we open a pub in Big Mugs, we get beer as a gift from our friend, which is very kind. Thanks, friend. And here we go. This is what the game looks like. So this is our overhead sort of map view. And at the moment, we're just restricted to looking down here at Big Mugs. So this is what Big Mugs looks like. It's just a little place, some houses and some sort of industry and stuff like that. And then we've got... All all sorts of other stuff going on. So we've got a capacity of 4,000 beers, if you like. We've got 700 in storage right now. We've got $7,000. This is the time and day. This is our number of employees. And then we've got ourselves all sorts of other stuff. So we've got districts and pubs. We've got employees. That's a stat sort of thing. We've got little cars and equipment. We've got to buy ingredients. There are recipes. And there is, of course, beer and beer wort. Now, I had to look up what beer wort was. Because I'm, I, I don't brew beer. I don't know how it works. You go, you go to the pub and you ask for beer, and a person behind the bar gives you beer. <laughs> That's kind of how beer works in my eyes. So I had to look at what beer wort was. It's kind of a byproduct of the brewing process that I think contains a lot of the sugars and things and stuff like that in to make the beer sort of taste different, as far as I'm aware. And I think it's to do with the fermenting and the alcohol kind of content as well. But um, it's a part of it anyway. So it sounds very unpleasant. Wart. I don't know why they've called it wart, but there we go. <laughs> why can't it be called something else? Because, yeah, hey, do you want to have a drink with warts in it? No, thank you. But there we go. So first thing we want to do is let's have a look at our beers. So we can make, currently, these are the recipes we know, we can make malt liquor and Nova Primorsk hooch, which is very exciting sounding. So they've each got up here, when you roll over, they've got their own little sort of uh, little qualities. Um, the This one here is a pale beer that has a strength of 50 and a bitterness of 70. This has a strength of 90. Good grief. <laughs> right you are. And a bitterness of 80. Now it might be worth brewing some beer. It might be worth brewing some lovely beers because we're going to run out. 
We're going to run out at some point. We've got 300 pints of the malt liquor, 400 pints of the hooch. I think let's go make some more of the hooch. I like the idea of having a strength 90 thing. People might be a little bit drunkaloids and they'll go and buy lots more. So let's go to our recipes. So learned recipes. Oh, oh, hang on. We've got, we can learn a new recipe. Oh, this is very exciting. Oh no, we'll make one of these then. So we've already got some of those in stock, but I didn't realize this. We've started with a point. We've started with a learning point, which means that we can unlock one of these. We could unlock pale lager. We've already got kind of pale beers and stuff like that. How about we unlock dark lager? That sounds very good. So let's learn this. Now, this is the difficulty of sort of making this drink. So it's a little bit more difficult to make the dark lager. And it takes a bit longer. It takes a couple of days to get this done. And it doesn't last as long. So if you brew too much and you can't sell it all, it will go to waste a little bit quicker than these things. They've got an expiry date of 11. That has 10. I think let's learn the dark lager. Let's go for that, please. So yeah, we'll learn that. And then I think let's brew some. Let's just brew some dark lager, shall we? So let's go to here and we shall choose to brew some beer. So we're making dark lager and we have tanks. At the moment, we've only got two. So the most amount of pints we can get out of here is 40 pints, but that's fine. To start with, we will go for that. So we'll choose one of the two tanks and then we get to pick our employees. There's only the boss at the minute. There is only the boss. There's just, there's, I don't know who that is, but the boss is on, on their own, just working away. As you can see on the left there, there are different jobs. And the more they do a certain type of job, obviously the better they get at it. But then if you say got them to do brewing constantly for ages and then didn't do brewing again, they then begin to lose their brewing experience, which makes sense because you're not doing it as much. So there's brewers, bartenders, advertisers, guards, accountants, and agents. So there's all different job types depending on what you want to do. So let's pick the boss to do this. And then we shall make ourselves 40 pints. Now we didn't buy any ingredients. You can go and buy them manually or you can just say, look, I want to I want to do this. Buy the right ingredients for this, please. So it cost us hardly anything. It cost nothing at all. What was that? Not even $10 to get the ingredients to make this. So then we're going to go into a manual brewing mode. There's two different modes that we can use. There's auto and then you get a chance of beer quality or there is a little mini game, which is fun. So we'll start the manual brewing mode. So what we have to do is, right, hopefully it won't start straight away. No. So what we need to do is these three, uh, these three dials controls these three sort of bars. And when we press space and start this process off, these little sort of markers will start coming down. And we have to press these dials to keep the markers in the green for as long as we can. The lower they go, the quality of the beer comes down. So here we go. <laughs> Let's just see. Let's see how we can get on with this. So we press space to begin. Right, that one up, that one. Oh no, that one went down. Oh, this is tricky. Yeah, the, okay, right. Yeah, the, the um, tutorial was on easy mode, I think. You can see that this is a lot harder to make a decent beer. Because yeah, these things move very quick. Right, okay. So when space appears up there you can finish the brewing process. So our beer is 95% quality. I think that's pretty good. I will take a bit of that. So the dark lager is not as strong. It's uh, got a 44 bitterness rating and a creativity of 10. So it's got a little bit of something exciting going on. You can make signature recipes. I don't think I'll do that right now. I'm not entirely sure what that does. I didn't come across that bit in the tutorial. And um, the changes in the final quality have not been affected by anything. Uh, the um, beer ba uh, beer barrel things do get dirty. And sometimes if you're trying to brew in a sort of slightly, a slightly dirty, scabby tank, it does bring the quality down. But there you go. So two days that's going to take. So we need to leave that for two days. Why don't we use the other tank that we've got? Because we've got two tanks. Why don't we use that to make something else? because we might as well. So let's make some Novel Primorsk hooch. Let's make some of that, please. So yeah, we'll brew some of that. There, oh no, of course, right, we haven't got enough people to do the brewing. So let's hire a person. We need a new person anyway. $5 an hour, is that allowed? Okay, fine. So Connor, Connor has come to work for us. Connor, your job, make some of this in the other tank. Um, it's your job, Connor, make as much as you can buy the ingredients, a whole $8 there. We'll go to the little mini game thing again. Now I think because this is easier to brew, there's only two dials, yes. So there's less for us to manage. So we might be able to make a slightly better quality beer. Yeah, this is, this is much easier than the three. <laughs> Although those things do move very quickly. 
Yep, down, up, down. Keep it going, keep it going. We're looking okay. Oh, there you go. Sorry, we could finish that ages ago. Beer water has been brewed 99% quality. That's only one day. So, okay. Right, so we've got two beers that are brewing right now, which is marvellous. We've got our new employee. We're going to employ somebody else as well. We're going to get a third person. So, yes, please. So, Mason. The boss, Connor and Mason have come along. So, we want to go to Big Mugs. Let's have a look at Big Mugs. So there's a breakdown of people. I mean, it's quite detailed. There's a breakdown of people. So there's a certain population of students and they have different preferences. They would like, uh, they like cheap stuff, of course, because they're students. The industry workers like cheap or premium. They want, they want the premium beers. And then there's tipplers. They prefer beer as strong and cheap as possible. <laughs> so just drink anything. There's European tourists, office workers, party people. There's loads and loads of different things. What's the sun? Tourists from Asia. Tourists from America, tourists from Europe. Oh, there's different sort of global tourist sort of areas. Okay. And lady friends. <laughs> you, you can't put that in there, can you? So lady friends, they like um they like a light strength sort of beer. But okay, fine. So there's lots of different stuff. We need to open a pub. That's what we need to do. We've got all this beer, we've got nowhere to sell it. So we shall open a new pub. It's gonna cost four grand, but that's what we need to do. So now because we've done that, we have been given some beer from our friend, which is marvellous news. So um, now a new objective, earn 5,000 money. So it just means reach 5,000. It doesn't mean earn 5,000 in total profit. It means get to $5,000. So and we get more beer, which is remarkably good. So uh, there we go. So we've got a pub and it's just called The Pub in Big Mugs. We can't name the pub, I don't think. But there it is. So right now, the pub has got nothing in it. There's nothing in the pub. It, it's just an empty pub. So we need to get our car and we can load stuff up into our car and then take it to the pub. So let's load up all the things that we've got. Um, oh my goodness me, we've got loads of different types of things. It's full. The, the, the car is full and we've still got all this lager sitting there. We've got lager, fruit stout and some calerbia, which I don't know what it is, but I guess that's one of the things we got given by our buddy. Uh, for passing one of the tasks. Okay, so now we've got ourselves a, a full van. So we have loaded the van. We now need to drive the van from wherever we are to the pub. So let's take it to the pub in Big Mugs. Uh, Mason can do the driving. Yes, please. So everyone is queued up to do some stuff. Everybody is queued up. We could buy a bigger tank when we get some money. How much is a medium tank? $2,000. Maybe we'll wait a little while to get ourselves a slightly bigger brewery tank. But it does mean we can make 160 pints in one go rather than 40 pints at a time. But okay, right now. So no time has moved on currently. No time has moved on. It's still eight in the morning. All these things have been issued. I've hired two staff members as if by magic. <laughs> so now we need to move time on. And what happens is I think when an action finishes, when somebody does a thing and a staff member becomes idle or when something sort of ends, it then pauses the game again. So two hours have gone by. I think Connor has driven, oh no, Mason, sorry. Mason has driven to the pub. So now the pub has got some beer in it, I believe. So we can look at what's in the pub. So yeah, it's got all these things in. Um, right, okay, let's come out of that. Let's load up the uh, all these other things into the van, like so, because there's no point keeping them in storage. There's, there's no point. We can't do anything with them. And... Once again, we shall get Mason to ship the rest of the beer that we've got in storage over to the pub. Because why the heck not? We might as well put everything in the pub. So there's the pub. Let's have a look at what's going on here. Popularity of 10 is not very much. Profitability of 100 and disorder of naught. So what happens is when your pub has been open, <laughs> everyone gets a little bit feisty. And so disorder, I think, covers general mess. So, you know, spillages and, and beer everywhere and all that kind of stuff. And fights. So when people pick up the chairs and start smacking them over the yeah, each other with, yeah, with chairs over the heads. That's what happens with disorder. So, yeah, when violence breaks out, disorder goes up. <laughs> that kind of stuff. So um, what we need to do is we can have a number of people working in the pub. So when it's got disorder, you can clean it or you can put a security guard in. And then you can have permanent bartenders. So we might need to hire a few more staff people in order to just keep things running. So yes and yes, Dennis and Robert. And what we'll do is we'll auto assign somebody to be the cleaner. So Dennis, you can always be the cleaner. That's fine. And Robert, you can be the security guard. You can always do security. That's fine. And then 
we're not very popular. Our pub isn't very popular. So we shall start doing some advertising. And we'll pick anyone else to do it. So, I don't know, Connor. Right now, Connor, go and advertise our pub for six hours. So the pub opens at four, I think. Pubs can be open no earlier than four. Okay, so we've not really got much to do right now. So once we've shipped all the stuff over, it'll pause again. So it's 12 o'clock. All the beer is in the pub. So we're just waiting. The popularity has gone up because we're advertising, which is very exciting. We've got a person working in the pub. Um, I think what we need to do is we need to move time on until it gets to four o'clock. One, two, three, and four. Right, so it pauses. So now it says, hey, it, you can now open the pub. So we'll go to here. We shall go to the jobs bit. And we shall get somebody to do some bartending. Do you know what? Let's get... The boss can do the brewing, I think. Who can do the bartending? Who have we assigned to these? I can't remember who we've got to ass assign to these now. That's Dennis. That's Robert. Okay, Mason. How about you become the bar person? Why don't we just say Mason always works behind the bar? There we go. So we've got Mason, the bartender, and then we can open the pub. So choose the bartender. Oh, I thought it would have worked that out. But okay, right. Mason is the bartender. So Mason is the bartender. Uh, we've got a cleaner and we've got a security guard. No one doing the advertising anymore because we've obviously done the advertising for the day. Accountants come in later on. They could do tax evasion. There's some nefarious things going on in here. And there's also some people that could do the bribing. <laughs> okay. So the pub can now be open. So we'll open the pub. Oh, I thought we'd already done this. I thought we'd already opened the pub. Okay. There we go. So the pub is now open. It's open for business. Yay. And I think there's 21 people in the pub already. Crikey, it's at 4 p.m. Good Lord. Um, while this is going on, we've got some spare people, I think, right now. So Dennis and Connor and the boss aren't doing anything. I think let's let's clean the tanks while we're here. So boss, you give that tank a scrub. You scrub that to bring the dirtiness down. Because this is a dirtiness level that reduces the quality of any beer that we brew. And then somebody else do this one. Um, Dennis, you're not doing anything right now. So you give that a scrub as well. So in two hours time, that'll be finished. The tanks are nice and clean and we are making some lovely monies. So I think we just need to run time on a bit now. Seven, eight, we're making a little bit of money each time. Look at that, 41, 26. Right, end of the day. Um, this is a little bit misleading because obviously we spent loads and loads of money today. So it makes it look a little bit kind of naff. But um, we made $488 in our pub which is nice. Popularity went up. The disorder has gone up as well. And we sold um, 200... Did we really sell 246 pints? Good grief. Right, the people of Nova Primors really do like a drink, don't they? Aye, caramba. Right, okay, <laughs> fine. So um, there's a bedtime session, so we just have to go to sleep. Nothing happens. Everyone goes home to bed. And then it's 8am and absolutely bang on 8am. Everybody is back up and ready to start the day again. So let's go and have a look at the pub. So it's become quite popular, which is good. Profitability is still looking good. There is a bit of disorder. So a tiny little bit. So a little bit of mess to tidy up. And it does say there, if an inspection team arrives at a pub with a disorder level 35 or above, they will fine you and close down your pub until the next day. <laughs> so you just get fined and then shut down because your pub is such a horrific mess. But there we go. Um, so we've still got plenty of beer in there. 308, 258. Yes, yeah, so we've got loads of drink in here for a while. We've got lots and lots of drink, which is fortunate because we can't do anything else. We can't make any more beer right now because all our tanks are full, I believe. I don't think we've got a spare tank. Oh, no, we have got spare tanks. Oh, hang on. Is that stuff ready to go? Hang on, what? Hang on. Whoa, whoa, no, I wasn't expecting that. Hang on. Where's our beer that we just made then? Where's the beer that we made? Have we got loads of it lying around? Ah, okay, right. It's here. It's because it's in the beer wart stage. So it's fermenting. That's what it's doing. Oh, so we must, we, that must go into barrels then. Right, okay, right. Maybe a lack of understanding of a beer brewing process doesn't help in a game where you're making beer. But, um, so they must have taken it out of the barrels, out of the tanks, and put it into something else. Yeah, so out of the big beer tanks, into maybe like wooden barrels or something, I don't know. So yeah, so it's doing this, so it's fermenting now. So that's going to be ready in two hours. Uh, okay, that's quite good. Right, in the pub, have we got our cleaner in place? Yes, right, okay, Dennis is doing the cleaning. That is very good indeed. So Dennis, get cleaning. Two hours have passed. That is now ready. 
So we've got another 40 pints to go. Right, let's make some more beer then. Let's just make sure that we've got plenty of beer over at that place. So malt liquor. Yeah, we'll have a bit of that. Choose the tank. They're all nice and clean. Choose the employee. Um, who did the brewing before? Connor and the boss did some before. Okay, so boss, you do that. Make as much as you can. Buy the ingredients. Do the little mini game. I prefer doing this and the auto resolve thing. I think the auto resolve thing is a little bit, uh, a little bit too risky for the beer quality. This isn't so bad. When it's this level, it's not so bad. We should wait for the beer at the top. There's a space, and we can finish this process. There we go. So yeah, just just keeping these things level and space. 99% quality. I will absolutely take that. And it went up a little bit. I don't know why, but it did. Maybe it's the skill of the brewer or something. I don't know, but whatever the case. So that's in. And then let's make some more of this stuff. Let's make some more of this Novoprimorsk hooch. Let's get that in as well. I do want to make some of this malt liquor, actually. Let's just get some of that in. Yeah, let's get this in. Let's get another 40 pints of that underway. So yes, in that tank choose uh connor because you did the brewing last time yeah buy the ingredients go to the little mini game so here we go having fun with mini games it's all good right that one that one that one that one oh it's a lot harder to keep these things higher <laughs> than it was in the um than it was in the tutorial yeah okay right so we're losing a little bit of quality but it's not too bad it's still pretty good right keep that in 99 percent. it's gone up a tiny bit okay i'm happy with that so that will now take time to sort of brew and ferment and do other stuff. Uh, okay, so is the pub nice and clean? I think the pub's been cleaned. The disorder is zero. Let's get somebody promoting the pub again. So who did advertising before? Can't remember who did it before. Uh, do you know what, though? Whatever the case, Dennis, you're doing it now. You're advertising the pub. Go and do some advertising, please, Dennis. That would be marvellous. So I think we just need to run time on a little bit. Okay, it's paused which must mean something has happened. Okay, let's load up 40 pints of that and drive it over to the pub. So pick that pub. Let's pick the employee. Uh, it doesn't really matter, does it? Robert, you can do the job, Robert. Absolutely, you drive over, Rob. And um, yeah, that means we'll get the that extra 40 pints into the pub, which is marvellous. What's that? Beer delivery order. Um, ooh. Oh, this, this didn't appear in the tutorial. Okay, right. They want a beer of this type. They want a beer of 90 quality, 90% quality. Um, 72 hours required expiry date. Yeah, we can we can cope with that. A strength of 0 to 65, bitterness of 0 to 65, and creativity, ah, 35 to 100. I don't think we have any beer with that level of creativity in it just yet. That's a bit of a shame, but never mind. I've not seen that before. I wonder if that means that you get a great big payoff for something after that. That'd be quite nice. Okay, so run time down. Um, so the pub is ready to open. What, what's that? Another one? Another beer delivery order? Oh my goodness me, there's two of them. Creativity 0 to 65. Oh, we could do this. Hang on, could we send this? You don't have a beer that meets the requirements of the customer. Oh, why not? Do we not? No, oh, bother. Okay, never mind. Um, what are these? Two objectives. Main objective... Oh, right. This is how to win the game. Okay, ruin <laughs> ruin or acquire all of your competitors. Okay, that's the main one. And this is the sub one. Get five grand beer as gift. Okay, is the pub ready to open? Bartender is in. The security guard is in attendance. Popularity is 60. Um, is it open? I think the pub has opened, hasn't it? Let's just run time on. Yeah, we made $117 in that hour. Oh, good job, pub people. Oh, my word. Oh, my goodness me. We are making an absolute fortune. Okay, that was brilliant. Oh, that was tremendous. Yeah, we've made quite a lot of money there. 574 following the expenses of the day. That's very good indeed. Okay, good. Yep, I'm happy with that. So we need to do that again, really. Right, everyone go to sleep. Have a lovely sleep. Uh, and then we need to do that again. So let's just make sure the cleaner is in to bring the disorder down. That is lovely. Uh, we're a little bit low on the beers. It'd be nice if we could get some beers ready. Um, it'd be really good. How long's that? Two hours. Ah, that dark lager is nearly ready. As is this. Do we need to treat ourselves to a bigger tank? 
I think we might need to treat ourselves. Incidentally, this is the ingredients. You can you can buy all these manually if you so wish, but when you choose a beer, you can just press that buy button and it buys all the appropriate ingredients for you anyway. But yeah, you can go through all this if you want to. You can buy special hops and rice and fruits and all sorts. Make a fruity, ricey, hoppy beer if you so wish. How about we treat ourselves? Let's go to brewery tanks. Let's get ourselves a medium tank. Yes, please. So we've got a medium-sized tank. Um, I was expecting some sort of confirmation thing to pop up then, but but no, it didn't, but that's fine. <laughs> I said, are you sure? It's very expensive, but no, in it goes. Um, those tanks are dirty as well, so let's also give those tanks a clean. Um, I know, Robert, you can clean that one for a couple of hours, and that one can be cleaned by Mason, because why not? So there you go. So you clean that, and then the boss can brew a load of stuff. Um... How about this hooch stuff? That seems quite a simple thing to get done out of the way. So let's do that. So put it in the medium tank. Choose the boss, please. Uh, make as much as you can. Buy the ingredients for all of $32. And we'll do the manual brewing thing because it's okay. And it's only got the two dials as well. Yeah, we should, we should be okay for this one. We'll be okay, I think. It might not be perfect given that they're moving quite quickly and at the same time. That's not fair. Stop moving at the same time, you swines. There we go. Right, oh no, bring that one back up and that one and go. I'll take that. 99% is pretty good. Yes, please. So that's going to take a little while to go through, but these should be ready. That The dark lager, our fancy new one, is going to be ready in two hours. This is very good. Right, okay, so a couple of hours time. Da-da, that's ready. 10 in the morning. We leave it two more hours. And we're going to get another 80 points of this malt liquor stuff coming through. So let's do that as well. So leave it just a couple more hours. Marvellous. Okay, so the only thing that's now brewing... Oh, hang on. Pause. Pause, pause, pause. Yep, because I want to ship that to the pub and then sell it. So here we go. Uh, load up that. All of that. All of that. All of that. Now, I think we might have missed the boat for the pub. I think it takes two hours to get this stuff to the pub. So we might miss opening time, but never mind. Right, choose the pub in big mugs. Choose whoever, I'm not really bothered, anyone. Um, Robert's the guard, isn't he? Dennis? Yeah, choose Dennis. You drive over, Dennis. And that means that in the pub, we still will have Mason, the bartender. Dennis, the cleaner, but he's worked from 8 a.m. And then Robert, the security guard. Okay, so moving forward one hour. Is the pub now open? Yes, the pub is open. 50 people in there. Oh, yeah, we're making quite a bit of money. Right, and that other beer has arrived. The other beer has now arrived, which is good news. So there we go. Some more beer is now available for you to drink, folks. Worry not. You will not go thirsty. Um, so now, can we brew some more? We need to get some more beer done, don't we? Because otherwise we are going to run out. So we need to get another, say, 40 pints in, I would have thought. So can we make... Um, some more of this and some more of this, because that's quick. So let's make malt liquor in the small tank. Yeah, we'll pick the small tank. Choose the boss. Uh, all of that. Buy the stuff. Do the mini game. We'll do this twice. I'll just go through and get this beer done, because we've seen how this works now. So we'll go through, get two lots of this beer done, and then we'll see what's going on after that. Okay, so I have used all available tanks and all available staff people to make three more lots of beer. So 40 pints of this malt liquor stuff, 40 pints of the dark lager, and another 160 pints of the hooch, which is very good indeed. So I think the pub is open. So these things will just tick over. They're two hours, one hour. So now they're brewed. So now they're just sitting there in the, uh, whatever, wherever they go, in the barrels, I assume. So yeah, so there's a little while for them to ferment. So a couple of days... 48 hours. That's another two days until we get this stuff. So that stuff's going to take a little while to appear. But never mind. Never mind. It's fine. We'll just sort of deal with it. I think we're making quite a bit of money anyway. It's 106, 90. Not as much as we did before. Not as much as we did before. And our balance will be down because we spent two grand on the great big tank thingamabob. Um, so what we'll do is... Oh, the disorder has gone up quite a lot. Oh my goodness me. Right, hang on. Let's go to the next day. Let's take a look at the pub. Disorder of 13. What have you all been doing in there? <laughs> What's been happening? Right, we've got the cleaner in. We've even got a security guard. We had a security guard. Rob. Rob the guard. Should have been keeping the disorder down, but clearly not. Um, okay, so let's do... Our popularity is quite high, actually. 
I don't even need to do any more advertising. Um, there is a thing here that you can do. You can start doing tax evasion. So you can start fiddling your books with an accountant. However, if an inspector turns up and you are currently fiddling your books, they notice you fiddling the books and you get told off. So I don't think we'll do that. I don't like the idea of these. And this, you can bribe the district admins uh, to not come round. So if you know that you want to do some book fiddling, you can you can be become doubly illegal by A, bribing some officials, say, don't come around this way, and then B, going and fiddling your books. So um, yeah, maybe we won't do any of that stuff. It seems terribly dishonest. So what we'll do is, what does that do? Improvements? Oh, I didn't press this. <gasps> A snack menu? What does that do? Each level increases the revenue by 20%. Oh my goodness me, pub size? Uh, increases it by 50. Yeah, now this is the pub is full every time, isn't it? The pub is full. A security system to bring down bring down disorder, I guess. Each level reduces the chances of success of rival agents. Ah, okay. And an entourage. Incre each level increases the minimum popularity of the pub. Oh, this is very exciting. I love the idea of putting a snack menu in. Yes, you can have you can have snacks. You can have peanuts. You can have pub snacks. Maybe we'll do that when we get to 5,000 monies. So what I'm gonna now gonna do now is, I'm just gonna plow on until we've got $5,000 because we'll just sort of repeat what we're doing now. We'll just sort of keep things going and ticking over until we've got $5,000. Some, uh, one of our friends will give us some beer because they like us, which is very kind. So, uh, oh, hang on, we've got some messages. There's a new beer delivery order. There's a new beer delivery order. There is a new beer delivery order. Okay, right, there's three beer delivery orders, gotcha. Don't know if we can send any of those. No, uh, no, and no. Okay, <laughs> marvellous. Do you know what? I'm not going to worry about those right now. It's fine. So uh, let's just see if we can make ourselves $5,000. Okay, I don't know how much time has passed, but as you'll be able to see up here, I haven't made very much money. It seems to be very, very difficult indeed to actually make a decent profit. And I'm absolutely plying this place with beer. I'm absolutely chucking loads of beer into this place, but people just don't seem to be buying it very much. It kind of starts off, it goes, yay, $100, and you think, ah, good, right, the first little sort of bit is $100, and then it goes so it's down, it's like 80, 50, 30, and it's a bit okay. So what I'm gonna do is, I don't want to do this, because I know as soon as I do this, and I was saying, oh, this could be a bit dodgy, Let's start doing some tax evasion, shall we? Let's get, I don't think anyone's gonna be good at accountancy. If anyone's gonna do it, it's got to be the boss. The boss has got to be the one who's doing the dodgy dealings with the books. So, okay, we will start doing some dodgy dealings and, you know, we'll cook the books a little bit. Now, we've had no inspections at all, at any point. What's the bet in the next four hours, the inspectors are going to come round and tell us off. So here we go, let's move it forward four hours. In fact, no, let's do some more beer brewing, actually. So we've got these gonna be ready in four hours. They're ready in eight hours. They're going to be ready in 28 hours. That's quite a long time. So that'll be ready in a day or so. Um, so yeah, we need some more, really. We need some more to sort of uh, keep the levels up. So uh, let's just go and brew some more beer quick. I think all the barrels are nice and clean. Oh, that one's been scheduled to be cleaned. So we've got a couple more that we can brew. So let's just grab some more of this stuff. So we'll chuck that into the medium tank. Right, so let's just make a couple more batches of beer. Okay, so a couple more batches are now brewing away, which is marvellous. So here we go. Let's see if in the next few hours we will get got by the tax people. So I think, what have we got, two more hours left? Yep, so two hours of, uh, of dodgy accountancy is going on and hooray. Right, okay. Okay, have we got away with that then? Okay, start tax evasion. Well, let's just do it again. We might get some more money from this. Okay, we'll do some more dodgy tax evasion. I don't feel very confident doing that. Um, how much have we got in the pub? Only 282 beers. Now we did run out at one point. Yeah, let's chuck a load more beer over into the pub. Is there any more due to come up anytime soon? Four hours. Yeah, that might have to be tomorrow's beer. Okay, somebody drive that over to the pub, please. Um, Rob, you'll do. Absolutely. So let's just sort of go over to the pub. So we're losing money, obviously, on wages. That's fine. I think the, uh, the thing has arrived there. So we've got ourselves, what, 480 and then a 482. I did adjust the price ever so slightly as well of some of this stuff. I adjusted the price. Oh, apart from it's not with sort of maintained. 
Oh, okay, uh, whatever the case, what is that? Demand is determined by price and quality. I mean, yeah, you'd think they'd be okay with that, given that it's quite good. We'll put the price up on everything to 250. That should be fine. Two, $2.50 for a lovely pint of 99% quality beer is pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. Popularity is looking good. Disorder is down. Profitability is looking good. So, um, so yeah, I mean, it's all looking sound. We're just not making the amount of money that I would be expecting to make. So the pub is now open. Four o'clock. It's open. 50 people are in there. We've got lots of different beers in there for them to try. So I would expect this to work quite nicely. And also I want to see what we did with the tax dodging as well, because that should get us some money back as well. So let's just run this through to the end of the day. Let's just see. Look, 58, 54, 77, 67. I mean, that's not very much at all. So we only made $216. That's it. Expense is 504, because I suppose we are paying people. We've got a security guy and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I mean, maybe we need to bring that down. Maybe I've got too many people. I don't know, but we just don't seem to be making that much money. Now, one thing I am intrigued in is how are we going to get our money back from the dodgy tax dealings? I do not know. Maybe when we go to sleep and we come back, we will see if we made any money on the tax dealings. I don't think we did. Where was that then? So let's have a look. Uh, yesterday. So where was the tax dealings? Don't look like we made anything back on the tax dealings at all. We pay 20% in taxes, 164 monies. But well, wasn't I supposed to avoid doing all that? Wasn't that the whole point of why I went through the process of tax evasion? <laughs> Is that not what I was supposed to do? Um, okay, right. I mean, it looks like a bit of an uphill struggle toward toward 5,000. I mean, we did, we did, um, we, we made a little bit more. But yeah, okay, right. So let's just crack on. Let me crack on. Let's see if we can get toward the magical and mystical 5,000 monies. Or are we going to get got by the people who are going to tell us off for being slightly dodgy tax evaders? I do not know. Um, also, let's just also get an advertiser in. You're good at advertising for a little while. You can do that. And what I might do is, let's get rid of one of our people. Let's get rid of somebody. So let's get rid of who's been... Oh, you're good at bartending, Mason. You're quite good at that. Um, Robert the Guard. We might have to let you go, Robert the Guard. Let's fire you. Um, $50 severance pay. Yeah, I think for the amount of money we're going to save in the long run, let's get rid of you. That's absolutely fine. And then we'll just put the boss in as the guard or something. Because the boss is obviously free. The boss does not take a wage. So boss can just be the guard when we need somebody to do some guarding. Um, okay, right. What beer have we got? We've got another what, 240 pints on the way. Do we need to clean the things? Yes, we do. Right, so let's get on with making some more beer and see if we can't just edge closer to the $5,000 mark, the magical $5,000. Oh, and at long last, oh my goodness me, we have completed the objective. We have reached the magical total of $5,000. That took absolutely ages. Oh my goodness me, you just have to constantly just churn out beer. And in the end, just for the sake of sort of speeding things along a bit and just getting stuff done, I was just using the auto brew function rather than doing the little mini game where you control the dials. Just to make things just go a little bit quicker, I was just going, yes, great, yes, great, that's fine, just auto-brew beer. You have to have a constant supply of beer. You need to be doing brewing beer sort of two or three or four times a day as much as you can just to try and get enough, bu uh, enough beer into the pub. Oh my goodness me. Right, okay, so we got there in the end. That's marvellous. So the next thing is to earn 6,000. So we only need 1,000 more. We get a learning point and an experience point and all the cheap beer sorts are available for learning. So if we get to six grand, we will be able to get all of these shiny goodies. How's the pub looking? Um, yeah, popularity is okay. Disorder, a little bit high, but it's the end of the day, I think. Oh, hang on, is it the end of the day? It is now. Hooray. So, um, yeah, so yeah, it, it's not too bad. 213 monies in total. I think we made a bit more than that, actually. That doesn't seem kind of right. I swear we had 4,700 before we went into this day. But whatever the case, there we go. So we've made some nice money at long last. Oh, my goodness. Right. Let's go to sleep, everybody. Let's go to sleep. And, um, and do you know what? 
I think what we'll do is we'll finish up for now with Brewer. I think you get the idea. Now, one thing we didn't really get to because we haven't met anybody else is the concept of sort of espionage and stuff. So you can go into other people's pubs and you can plant agents in there and you can, you know, cause unrest and cause riots and cause fights and all that kind of stuff. And then, um, yeah, we didn't kind of see that concept. I think that might be a little way off. But um, one thing I will say about this game, it, it's quite slow and patient. Yeah, there's no rush. A bit like, a bit like if you want to sit back and drink a nice pint. You know, you might want to drink it slowly. You might want to sip as a lovely, tasty beer. Rather than just, you know, chugging it and downing it really, really quickly. You might want to just uh, savour the beer and enjoy it. And that's a bit what this game is like, I suppose. It takes a little while to play. Particularly if you want to go through when you make a beer. When you go into here. If you want to do the manual game every time in order to get a really high beer quality it's going to take you a long, long time to do. Because, yeah, if you want to brew, if you've got three uh, sort of brewing tank things, you do that each time. If you do that, three of those, to so make one of these each time, and you do that, for, what, three or four times a day. That is, that's a long process. That's a lot of button clicking. So, yeah, I did resort to just doing the auto brewing. But, um, but yeah, so, yeah, it's a fun game. It's quite a patient game. And, yeah, I thought it would move on a little bit quicker than this. But I have been playing this for, in actual real world time, almost two hours <laughs> to get this far. So, um, yes, if you like a game that's... Um, quite slow and methodical and patient but it, it's it, I'm not saying it's a bad game I'm just saying that it's you know it's got a slower sort of pace to it if this looks like your thing then um, yes go and check it out There's, there is a link to the Steam store page in the video description below I'm a little bit disappointed that we couldn't make our way through to the um to get to see the other cities and stuff and go and see rivals and what have you but you know what it's fine I think you get the idea with how it works and eventually you know you could if you wanted to you could go for this. You could start doing some of this stuff and trying to get beer orders that match their requirements and stuff. Because I bet that pays quite nicely. I wonder if we've got anything that fits. No, but you could go through if you wanted to. You could try and craft something that meets those. But you probably do need a greater variety of beers. Maybe we need to get the pale lager in or whatever. But, um, but there we go. So that was Brewer. Hopefully you did enjoy this look at Brewer, even if we didn't kind of dig to the yeah you know, it's the extremes of the game but hopefully you enjoyed the little sort of overview of what the game is all about if you did then please do leave a like that would be most splendid indeed and also if you're not already please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other nonsense and gubbins and shenanigans that we get up to in the geek cupboard but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time Everyone loves barbecued rat. My compliments to the chef. I don't think he did much. He literally stuck a stick up the rat's bottom and put it on a fire. Shrieking weird ladies in the water. Probably not a good thing. The heroes offer a decisive solution to all the woman's riddles. <laughs> By shoving her off the bridge. Yay. Yay for the chiseled stick.